should know that Torah is what you need to be a Jew. There are lots of parts to study, but we'll start with just a few. Now I'm about to tell you of a prophet so revered. And he changed our people's history, rocking a wicked Charlton Heston beard. <laughs> The most important prophet of all time. He started life in the Pharaoh's court as a fine Egyptian kid. But Moshe Rabbeinu was just another year. I'm going to take you back to biblical times, the year 2368. A Midian sheep named Moses tended sheep in the flock of Jethro. You mean that former shepherd, Moses Prince? That's right, that young man spoke to God. He spoke to God. And God said, Moses, what you really need to know is that livestock isn't your fit. There's a job in your future, Moses. And I, God, have anointed you to appear before me by a burning shrubbery on a hill in your backyard. Wow, there's a fire on a hill and this guy thinks it's a sign from God? That makes perfect sense. Our man Moses went up on that hill and found the bush aflame. On sacred ground, he looked around, but still nobody came. Who wrote that bush? Where'd that thing come from? Then a voice came down to him from way up in the sky. I am that I am. Whenever anyone asks you about who I am, tell them I am the one and only God. Even if people ask you to draw an image of me, don't. I am without name, face, or form. Even though this might make them question if I am real or not, this is sort of what faith is all about. Moses left the shepherd and returned to Pharaoh's door. He bravely stood before the throne and started to implore. And God spoke to me and gave me this simple quid pro quo. He hath commanded me to tell you, let my people go. You mean there's really only one God but we can't see him, hear him, or even know him by name? I'm interested. Now Pharaoh wasn't really pleased with the demands that Moses made. No, 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 I won't let them go for this God of yours who has no name. But Moses said, There's not much time left a strict deadline. God is sending you 10 plagues. So I saved Israel from their slavery hell. We'll tell us we've been our chains farewell. Come on, chosen ones. Chosen ones. Follow me through the Red Sea. Then on to Canaan where all the tribes will dwell. Woo! kept on waiting for their new lives to begin. But after 40 days and 40 nights, their faith was running thin. A golden calf was worshipped just as Moses brought the law. He held it high and showed up. I still think that Moses really rolled up. Um, okay. Well, anyway. Now comes the part of our story that won't be met with cheers. God punished all the Hebrews, and they wandered for 40 years. Moses 
died on the mountaintop by the Jordan's eastern shore. You must lead the people now, my good friend Joshua. Oh God, why are you letting me die without entering the promised land? Is this any way to reward me for all the hard work I did for you? To see the land but not enter it. Hi. I guess I could have looked ahead in the Torah and read that part. <laughs> the prophet Moses died for what he believed in. But his followers, they crossed the river Jordan. And Joshua led them into Canaan, the promised land of milk and honey. There, they mounted conquests and divided the land, building temples and ruling the people with kings and priests until the temple was destroyed and the people were lost and scattered among the nations. Now, it's my job to teach you the laws of Moses that were given at Sinai long, long ago.